Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. With the rise of the term fake news, many individuals have turned to the self-proclaimed fact-checking sites like Snopes and PolitiFact, but the objectivity of these sites tends to be questioned by conservatives as having a covert liberal bias. Now, on Tuesday, the Conservative Media Research Center unveiled a new project entitled Fact Checking the Fact Checkers, which is designed to ensure the fact checkers themselves are reliable or exposed as liberal partisans if they aren't. In an era of fake news and inaccurate reporting, it is important now more than ever that the fact checkers themselves are exposed for their biases, uh, Media Research Center President Brent Bozell said in a statement. Now, the MRC routinely finds instances when fact checkers bend the truth or disproportionately target conservatives, Bozell continued. We are assigning our own rating to the judgments and will expose the worst offenders. Americans deserve the truth. There must be accountability across the board, and that includes these alleged arbiters of fact and fiction. Now, some of the purported fact-checking sites the project plans to monitor are PolitiFact, uh-huh, fact-check, indeed, Snopes, Washington Post fact-checker, AP fact-check, and CNN fact-check. And with good reason. And with good reason. Um, folks, I have never trusted any of these fact-checking sites. They... They all, uh, in my opinion, have an extreme leftist bias, and yet so many believe that, well, if they are fact checkers, they must be, they must not be fake news, they must be providing the truth because, well, they're researching and, um, and checking the facts. So yeah, we have to believe them because they have proclaimed themselves as fact checkers. They have people that work for them that, uh, I don't know, they went to college, so they must be smart and no, seriously, folks, I, I know I'm doing a bit of a, uh, a parody here, but uh, not, not the news article I'm reporting to you, but in my, in my reference to those who believe the fact-checking sites, uh, they do tend to believe the fact-checkers. The fact-checkers can't be wrong. The fact-checkers, of course, have to be telling the truth. Well, I think in many cases they are not, so I'm glad for one that the Media Research Center is looking into this. Now, will they check the facts correctly? I'll leave you a link to this, folks. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. Please check out the links below the video to my fiction books on Amazon.com, to uh, a free read of a chapter of one of my books, to some music of mine, and to a PayPal page if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, if you like the work that I do here. And most importantly of all, folks, don't be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.